Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, we are continuing on and almost finishing up the 2022 Makeup Collection and Declutter series. In this video in particular, I'm attacking my single shadows. I'll be going over all of like my individual like ColourPop Super Shocks and things like that, and then also all of my press singles. I will say I wanna preface so that there aren't any disappointments. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a ruthless declutter. I do think I am going to really pick apart my Super Shocks just because I haven't been using them lately, so I need to dwindle that down by a good bit. But with my press singles, I don't really have any intention on getting rid of any of those. I love them, I love them so much. Maybe some of my very old ColourPop matte ones because I just don't really reach for those, but maybe I'll keep them also just because I like having them in case I do like little DIY palettes and stuff like that. So don't expect a big declutter in my press singles because it's probably not gonna happen. That'll be more so for the other singles that aren't pressed and I'll start with those. So if you only care about the declutter portion, that'll be the beginning. And then the finale is coming up very soon. I'll be going over all of my eyeshadow palettes and I am so incredibly excited. I can't wait to dwindle that down and chat about everything. I don't even know how many I have at the moment because I haven't filmed that part yet and I'm just super, super excited. And of course I do have a playlist where all of my makeup collection and declutter videos from this year are on it and also from years past. So you can go check that if you're interested. Before we hop into this single shadow one, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my TikTok and Instagram by the time this video goes up. And as far as my accessories today go, I don't really have a whole lot. This is just a basic choker. I don't know where it's from. This wig is from insert name here and this is a Neff brand beanie. And just a couple quick things of course before we get into it. I gotta give the little spiel, you know. Now Number one, please don't get offended if I happen to declutter your favorite single shadow of all time. I'm so glad that it's your favorite. I just might not be using it anymore. And I like to give things a second life if I'm able to give it to a friend, you know the deal. Number two, please do not ask me to send you anything. I feel very weird giving used makeup to people I don't know. I give dibs to my friends and family. I toss things that are beyond their point of no return and I donate things that I am able to. And finally, last but not least, please do not feel pressured to declutter your collection if that is not what's right for you. It's just what's right for me. I like doing this once a year just to give a good old re set and it makes me feel good and re-inspired and re-excited for really the new year to come. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and chat about all of my single shadows. Hi friends, how's it going? We are gonna get into it. I have a lot of press singles, super shock shadows, a couple sticks that I don't care about. I have 269 total things to talk about. Like I mentioned in the intro, I don't think I'm really gutting this collection. I am gonna declutter some things, but for the most part, a lot of this is gonna stay here. So. I'm really just focused on like decluttering the things I don't use and don't care about outside of my press singles. So let's just dive in. Like I mentioned, I have two little ColourPop shadow sticks that I honestly just don't care about. These aren't bad. They're just like eyeshadow in a stick. So you could just kind of smear it on your eye, blend it out with a brush if you want. You could try to do something graphic -y with it if it's pointy enough. Um, but I just never, ever, ever, ever reach for these. They're not awful, but it's just not my type of product. So I'll give these to friends. And then there were Super Shock Shadows, 28 to be exact. And I did a pretty good job like curating it down last year because I had like a zillion of these. Um, I know you can see my fan <laughs> reflecting in these. Um, It'll be fine. This time, I really just wanna narrow it down to the ones that I truly think I'm gonna use the most. And that's gonna be like toppery things. I'm not really gonna use these like more opaque ones. I just don't reach for them. If I'm gonna reach for something like this, I'd rather use one of my press singles, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of some that I know I'm not really using. This one's Hot Toddy. It's cute, but I don't need it. We have this like teal and yellow. The yellow is Tankini. The bluish teal is on set. Again, they're gorgeous. I'm just not using them. I like the formula of these. They're very squishy and they add a nice effect on the eye, but if I'm not using it, I'm not using it. I'd much rather give it to friends. We have this purple and orange. The purple is Pug Life and Bubble Bee is the orange. I don't really need these either. Same with like this orangey bronze and this like pinky shade. The orangey one is Main Attraction and the pinky one is Sundress. Don't really need those. I have this pinky one and this peachy pinky one. The BT21 collab one is Playful Sweetheart and then this one is It's a Vibe. Don't really need those. This lighter yellow and yet another pinky one. I kept a lot of pinky ones. Roy G Biv is that pinky one. This actually does have a really nice shine to it. Mm, I'll revisit that one in a second actually. Um, but pressed juice I haven't even thought to reach for so I'll pass this one along as well. Okay, well we've narrowed it down to more of like my toppery ones. These ones have a little bit more of a twinkle, a little bit more of a shine, something special with it. So I need to figure out what I wanna keep out of these. Ritz has been my number one for a long time but I have a feeling, yeah, this one's gotten kind of dry on me. 
Uh, I love this one though, whenever it does work, because it just adds a really nice wetness to the eyes. It doesn't look as bad as it feels, like it gives you that kind of wetness that I mean, but it does look a lot better when it's fresh. So this one I just need to toss. It's a little, little old. It's been through it. Let's see, let's check out some that are similar to that one. This Animal Crossing one in Balloon Pop. Ooh, that still feels really good. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. It's a little bronzy for my taste though. Like, I like that Ritz when I'm like sideways, you can't really see a color as much. You can see a little bit of a color just cause it's dry, but this one, it's like so bronzy when the light's not hitting it. And I'm not really a bronzy kind of girl. So I think I'll give this one to a friend. Let's do deco days. What do you look like? Ooh, that got a little smushy, didn't it? That one's okay. I mean, it has a nice shine, but it's so similar to balloon pop. So again, I don't really need that one. I don't like that it's super bronzy when the light's not hitting it. I guess let's chat about Roy G. Biv really quick since I mentioned it earlier. Oh, it's cute. That pink with that like shine going through it. It is quite lovely. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I think I might keep that one. This one is Koosh. This is like an OG Super Shock. This one's been around for a long time. Not this particular one in my collection, but just that shade in general. It's just like a highlighty shade. And as much as I like this, I feel like if I'm gonna use something like this, I'm probably just gonna use one of my highlighters, even maybe one of my ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I don't think I need it. Ooh, what are you, tassel? Is this like a super sparkly white? Oh, that is a super sparkly white. It's nice, but do I need that? Probably not. I feel like I have other wet looking whites in my collection. Oh, but that is really pretty. That would make a really nice topper just to make something look very wet and icy. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile too. <laughs> Day trippin'. I used to really like this one. It's kind of like a, a lavendery version of like these wet looking toppers. Ooh, that is nice. I'll put that in the maybe pile too. I'm a sucker for these toppery super shocks. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. It doesn't have the label, but I'm pretty sure it's called Ice Dream. I hope this is available as a single now because it didn't used to be. It was only in like a set. I hope you can see that reflect right there. It goes from like purple to blue. That's my favorite one, hands down. Maybe second to Ritz just because Ritz is so versatile, but if I'm gonna for sure keep any, it's gonna be Ice Dream. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, my Celium. This is actually really similar to Ritz. This is from the Raw Beauty Christie collection. I'll pop it right here so you can kind of see. It's like super similar to Ritz, just not as dried out. And it does have a little bit of a bronzy shift to it, but I feel like it's a little more neutral than bronze. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like on camera, they're probably gonna look really similar, but in person, I can see a little less of an orangey bronzeness to it. I think I'll keep my Celium just because I can't have Ritz right now. <laughs> Let's see, Ripple, how are you? I feel like you might be a little too opaque for what I'm going for with these right now. Yeah, I don't really want the opaque ones so badly. So I'm gonna give that one to a friend. As beautiful as that is, I don't need it. I'd rather use one of my press singles. I feel like Dream Lover's probably the same, but I just feel compelled to touch it anyway. Yeah, that's that's too much for what I want right now. I prefer my Super Shocks nice and sheer. Ooh, Frog is a good one. Frog is like a classic. This shade's been around for a long time too. Again, just kind of that wet toppery looking one, but more with a pink shift. I like it, I might have it. And honestly, this one might be the last one that I keep. This one is Moonwalk. This is really pretty. It has kind of like a, a green shift to it. It's like that bronzy green, which I know I was just talking about bronze, but when it's paired with a green like this, it just looks so interesting and kind of grungy. And I do, do like that. I do like it a lot. But I think I can let the rest of these go. This one from the BT21 collection is Truly Loving. This one is Loungin'. Kind of a pinky mauve. This one is Once Upon a Dream from one of the many princess collaborations. This one is Rooftop Cocktails, kind of another greenish. Actually, I wanna compare this to Moonwalk that I just swatched. Which green do I like more? Oh, that one's more of like a teal. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that one too. I just remembered how much I liked this one when I read the name off. And last is the shade Down in New Orleans. Kind of like a sea foamy color. It's cute, but I do not need it. So out of those super shocks, started with 28, I decluttered 20 and now I have eight. And I'm actually more satisfied with that because I feel like even 28 was too many for me because I wasn't using them like at all. So now I just have a few that I know I like and that I'll reach for. And maybe I will actually reach for them from time to time, even just to add like a nice glow to my eyes. 
Okay, so next we have 239 press singles. This will be the finale of this video. <laughs> and like I mentioned in the intro, I'm not really interested in decluttering any of these because I like having options for when I do DIY palettes and stuff like that. So this is more just gonna be a showcase on what I do have. I have done full in-depth swatch party videos on some of these aspects in my collection. So I'll probably redirect you to some of those videos for certain parts, but yeah, let's just get into it. All right, I have some sugar pill things here. Um, I actually don't think anything has changed from last year's declutter with sugar pill. These might have come out since then, but these also might have come out last year. Um, we have this red Love Plus. This is like an OG red. It's a really good red, actually. Like if you need a good matte red, this is a good one to go for. I personally like sugar pill. They've been around for quite a long time and not everybody likes them, but I do. This one's Daybreak. Kind of like a golden champagne -y color. And then this one is Sideshow, really cute peach. I like that peachy color, I think it's really cute. That's actually a gorgeous blush as well. Um, I really need to depot these and put them in this. They're just, they're hard to get out. I need to just search a YouTube video on how to do it and then put them in these empty slots that are right here. I don't know if I remember all of the names of these. Pretty sure this is Arsenic. This one I think is Butter Cupcake, and this one I think is Flamethrower. Arsenic is such a good, like, light green. Butter Cupcake is an awesome yellow, my number one favorite yellow for a long time, and Flamethrower is a really good bright orange. I definitely do not know the names of most of these, and you have to, like, pinch them out of the pan, and I'm simply not gonna do that right now. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is Poison Plum. Everything else I'm totally unsure of. But we have Poison Plum, we have that more muted, darker purple, we have more of that berry-toned purple, we have this bright pink, this peach, which that one's getting, ooh, that one's actually getting kind of hard panty. That's not good. And then this purpley one. Ooh, yeah, that one's kind of rough. That one is not doing any favors for me anymore. So I actually might toss that one. Get my little tweezers here and do some surgery. Pop that guy out. This was Suburbia, but this one's just getting kind of gross. This one's really old too. Like this is probably one of the older ones in my sugar pill collection. So I'll probably move one of these guys over here. Maybe pop this one in there if I can figure out how to. Um, and then over here we have various shades as well that I don't remember. We have this teal. We have this brighter blue and we have this lighter blue. Teal, bright blue, light blue. This dark blue I think is called Velocity. And then we have that shiny light blue and then the shiny lavender. So that's what I think is Velocity, shiny light blue, shiny lavender. Ooh, these are such good colors. I love them. So yeah, I'm keeping most of those. I just decluttered one so far. Next up, we have some Lethal Cosmetic ones. This one is from the first set of Lethal Cosmetic singles I ever got. Um, I picked these shades out myself, so let's go over them. So I actually still know the names of these just because I picked them out myself so long ago. Um, this one is Frantic, this is Backdraft, and this is Recluse. So we have Frantic, Backdraft, and Recluse. I also just reached into this palette recently to film a little DIY palette video that I think will already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up. Next we have Altitude, Petrichor, and Ariel. These are so good. Good still, they feel so creamy. And I've had these for like, I think pushing three years now. Last we have Mirage, Enigma, and Arsenic. So Mirage, Enigma, Arsenic. So cute. Definitely keeping those, of course. And then I have this little six pan that came out recently of beautiful shifty shades. I love these. So for these, we have Antimatter, Aphelion, and Exosphere. Antimatter, Aphelion, Exosphere. Look how beautiful those are. I love, love, love them so much. Then we have Magnitude, Parsec, and Singularity. Let's see, Magnitude, Parsec Singularity. Just look at those beautiful shifts. They go all sorts of different colors. They are magical. This Parsec one is probably my favorite. I just love that like glowy pink magic. Magnitude, I think it was. That one is so, so pretty too. It's just amazing. I love. I mean, Exosphere as well down here. Like they're just all so pretty. I love these shadows so much. Continuing on with shifty magical things, Cleona sent me a few multi-chromes a while back and I love them. They're so good. We have Baroque, Ceres, Coronation, and Court Jester. 
right here. They're so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, those shifts are just so, so good. They picked all these out for me too, and I'm so glad with the colors they chose. Next, we have Estate, Flagstone, Niello, and Radiance. Wow, I'm getting eyeshadow all over me. I mean, surprise, surprise, right? Just look how gorgeous these are. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough. They're so pretty. And then last we have Royal Pear and Tessera. Royal Pear right there and Tessera right there. Those two are probably my favorite out of all of these. They're just so pretty, but I love all of them. They are absolutely magical and gorgeous and amazing. Next I have my Gavisi singles that they let me build this palette recently pick out a bunch of shades. And I did just recently do a full in-depth like swatch party video on all of these. So I'm gonna redirect you to that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But I have a swatches playlist on my channel if you wanna see like swatches in general. <laughs> but yeah, I do have a full in-depth video on all of these. These are really, really pretty. I'll just swatch a couple random ones just so you can kind of get an idea. They are so like slippy feeling and wonderful. I'm really impressed with the mattes as well. So yeah, if you're really curious about these Gavisi shadows, go check out my Gavisi swatch party video. Gosh, I have this very old set of ColourPop singles. <laughs> oh my gosh, is, there is not a bigger hard pan on that. Does that even feel good anymore? Ooh, that's a little, little, ooh. That's ugly if I've ever seen it. I know there's ways to revive it, but I don't even really use this shadow, so I think I'm gonna Get rid of that one. This particular one doesn't need to be around anymore. <laughs> Scooch those in so there's not a weird gap now. Um, yeah, these ColourPop singles. It's like I'm torn because, again, I like having some options. However, these are all getting really old and they're just not my favorite thing to reach for anymore. Like, I'd rather pluck a shadow out of one of my, like, eyeshadow palettes in a DIY palette before I reach for these most of the time. Honestly, I don't think I need to keep these around anymore. I think I'll just see if any of my friends want these singles because they're not awful. Like, they, they, they're still decent. They're just not my favorite anymore. So I think I'm going to let this go. I have done videos with this palette many a time on my channel back in the day. So if you need to see that in action, you can go check that out too. Here's a bunch of random miscellaneous ones. Um, let's go through these. I don't even remember what's in here. Night Shift and Risqué from MBA Cosmetics. Night Shift Risqué. Ooh, those are super nice still. Very creamy. I forgot about those. They're very cute. We have Virginie from Cloud Beauty and Naked from Luxe. Gosh, I haven't thought about either of those brands in a very long time. Those are still kind of cute, but I'll be honest, I don't know if they're blowing me away. They're just like, I don't know. They're like just okay. And I have like so many pretty shifty things between like Lethal and Gavisi now and Terra Moons and Pastel Roses and all the all the things. So I think I'm actually just gonna plop those two in this empty palette with the color pops. Let my friends go through them. Next we have Vintage Champagne and Invisible Gold, both from Vanessa's Vanity. Vintage Champagne, Invisible Gold. I mean, again, they're not bad but I'm just kind of like, do I even need those? I haven't really been reaching for them. I do feel like they at least have more shine to them. I'll keep those around for now. This one is Tundra from Cleona. This is Timber from Sydney Grace, and this is Haystack from Sydney Grace. I thought I'd never tried Sydney Grace before. I guess I always forget that I have just those couple random singles that I got as a gift a long time ago. But those are there. They're cute, again, like, it's nothing super special in my collection, but I want to just have those as options for DIY palettes. And then these bottom three are from Menagerie. They're the trifoils. We have Bunny, Chick, and Turtle Club. Bunny, Chick, and I'll put Turtle Club right there. They're just like super crazy shiny. They have a little bit of a shift to them. It's a little chunkier of a formula compared to some of my shifty shadows, but these are still nice, so I'll keep them around. Moving on next, I have a few from the Pastel Roses, and again, I have a full in-depth video like swatching all of these, so I wanna redirect you to that if you are interested, but I will just swatch a couple random ones just so you can get an idea. Let's see, we'll just swatch this guy, this guy, and this one is the holographic one, Disco Queen. So we have this one, that one, and Disco Queen is the holographic one. You can kind of see it up close. It like shifts like all different colors when it hits the light just right. It's so pretty. Um, but look at the shifts on those. 
They're mouth-watering and amazing, and I love them. So if you're interested in these, go check out that swatch party video. Next, we have all of my Glaminatrix singles. I have a few between both of these palettes. Um, let's get to swatching. We have Uluru, Breeze, Sweet Peach, Darling. Uluru, Breeze, Sweet Peach, Darling. Super Creamy Mattes. Tropical Bauxite Candy Egg Coral Cove. Tropical Bauxite Candy Egg Coral Cove. Right there. Candy Egg is so pretty. I love the shift on that one. Sunshine Egg Hunt Sundress Lemonade. Sunshine Egg Hunt Sundress Lemonade. Love those yellows. Chick Cloud Nine Algae Hopping. Chick Cloud Nine algae hopping so cute field picnic camo spearmint field picnic camo spearmint poison ivy icicle coast high seas poison ivy icicle coast high seas and then tiffany bunny pixie and mojito tiffany bunny Pixie Mojito, and that's it for that first palette of Glaminatrix. Ice Cold Blue Jeans Breathless Fate. Ice Cold Blue Jeans Breathless Fate. And then Grace Sundown Elegance Bluebell Bonnet. Grace Sundown Elegance, this one's more of like a flaky one. Bluebell and Bonnet. Bonnet. That's my rainbow of Glaminatrix right there. Um, super cute. Definitely keeping those around. And finally, last but not least, I have this giant palette from Adept that I have a lot more singles in. I basically have these in rainbow-ish order by brand. So like these first ones are Terra Moons, and then it goes into Cleona, and then it goes into Shroud. So let's swatch some. We have Fizzy Flamingo, Be Mine, Bonfire, and Hurricane. Terra Moons, Fizzy Flamingo, Be Mine, Bonfire, Hurricane. I love those colors, they're so pretty. I reach for these a lot when I'm doing my DIY palettes. Harvest, Sweet Like Honey, Hot Spice Cider, Radiation. Harvest, Sweet Like Honey, Hot Spice Cider, Radiation. So brilliant. I use Hot Spice Cider a lot, actually. <laughs> Mint Frosting, Beyond Apollo, Mood Ring, and Moon Tide. Mint Frosting, Beyond Apollo, Mood Ring is such a good multi-chrome. And Moon Tide is one of my favorites in my entire collection. Like, look how beautiful that is. Like, if I had to pick a number one favorite single, that's one of them. Probably the Cosmos, which I'll get to in a second, is my number one, but I love Moon Tide. Half Moon, X-Ray, The Cosmos, and Moon Lily. Half Moon, X-Ray, The Cosmos. Oh my gosh. Like, look at The Cosmos. It is such a good color. It's so magical. I love it. And then Moon Lily right there. I don't know why there was a gap there at the bottom, so I'm just scooching these around so it like flows better for my brain. Journey to Neptune, Fortune Teller is such a good one too. Looking Glass and Grape Teeny. Let's see, we got Journey to Neptune, Fortune Teller, look at that, it's so cool. Looking Glass and Grape Teeny. So pretty. My Terra Moons ones are a mixture of things I bought myself and then also a friend gave me some a while back who wasn't using hers anymore. Star Catcher, Midnight Winter, Crushed Velvet, UFO. Star Catcher, Midnight Winter, Crushed Velvet, and UFO. I love UFO. I think that's such a fun one too. Head Rush, Chasing Comets, Shattered Stars, and Red Giants. Head Rush, Chasing Comets, Shattered stars and red giant so stinking cool red giant is just like superb that beautiful like highlight with the pinky red flash through it so good solar flare saturn's rings space baby solar flare saturn's rings space baby these iridescent shifty shadows are just like so, so good. And last for Terra Moons, we have Snow Globe, Call Me, and Powdered Sugar. Snow Globe's there, Call Me right there, and then Powdered Sugar. 
so cute. I just love Terra Moon's shadows so, so incredibly much. Moving into Cleona now, pretty much here to like here, I believe, are my Cleona duochromes. I got those as a gift a couple years ago and I love them. Wait, I take it back. This is a Terra Moon's one in Wicked Rose. How did that make it over there? <laughs> let me, let me put this like more over here really quick. You know, that's probably why I had that gap earlier. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Although no, I wouldn't have put it there. I would have wanted this one over here. Hold please. I like my things to be color coordinated for my brain. There we go. I like that one better right there. Okay, now kicking off the Cleona ones. We have Salamander Soul, Eye of Newt, and Rune. Salamander Soul, Eye of Newt, Rune. Morgana, Toadstool, Calx, and Hex. Morgana, Toadstool, Calx, and Hex. Calx has always been one of my favorites from that one. I just love that shift. It's so pretty. Clairvoyance, Aqua Fortis, Nocturnal that I just smashed a little bit, and Crucible. Clairvoyance, Aqua Fortis, Nocturnal, and Crucible. And last we have Amulet, Cinnabar, Arcana, Fog, and Elixir. Amulet, Cinnabar, Arcana, Fog, Elixir. And those are my Cleona duochromes, so pretty. And then last but not least, we have my shroud ones. Some of these also include my original singles from my Bats palette um, that I just will cherish forever. My Halloween ones are in another like palette, um, but these are just singles before we even had a palette. So I'm gonna just kind of skip over those, but I'll mention like what they are. And none of those are available as singles anyway, so I'm just gonna kind of breeze past those. But if you want my palette, you can get my palette. Um, I don't think it's available right this second, but it might might be, and if not, it's coming very soon. It'll continue to restock as long as there's a demand. But we have Sam from my It's Freaking Bats palette, Handbook from my palette, Trappa from my palette, Zero from my palette is right here, Apparition is this one right here, Dairy is right there, Grim is this one, and Adams is this one. So yeah, my palette sprinkled in. Let's talk about the actual singles over here. Oh my gosh, hold the phone. This is another Cleona one, Wormwood. How did these get so like out of sorts? Probably just for me picking them up and using them as singles. That's Wormwood right there from Cleona. So we have Artifact, Moon Moss, Sentinel and Night Song. Artifact, Moon Moss, Sentinel, and Night Song. These shades are so good. Folklore, Primordial, Soul Stone, and Oracle. Oracle's from like some of their original singles. Folklore, Primordial, Soul Stone, and Oracle. Enigma, Azura, Vigor. I remember being so so, so excited to buy this original set of like rainbowy singles from them years ago. And then we have Vigil, Ignite, and World Eater. Vigil, Ignite, World Eater. World Eater was one of my favorites for a long time. I just loved this metallic red. It's so pretty still. So yeah, that is it for those. I'm gonna clean myself up and I'll get you my final totals. Okay, so out of those press singles, I started with 239, I decluttered 26, and now I have 213. I feel pretty good about that, just getting rid of some stuff that's like getting a little old, not really performing its best anymore. Uh, but my actual grand totals, it's not the most <laughs> decluttery one that's been in this series. But I started with 269, I decluttered 48 things, I have 221 now, so just a teeny declutter, but I'm happy with it. And even though it's not anything revolutionary, I'll still include pictures. Here is the picture of the 269 things I started with. Here are the 48 things that I ended up decluttering. And here are the 221 things that I'm left with. I hope you liked this video. Next up is gonna be my eyeshadow palette, so just stay tuned. I'm super excited. Let's zoom out and finish up this video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful for you. I kind of tried to direct you to different videos that might be more in depth on specific brands. So please go check those out if you're interested or curious about a specific brand I talked about today. I would love to hear your thoughts. What are your absolute favorite single shadows? What are your favorite brands for single shadows? Do you have a number one favorite single in general? I would love to hear it down below. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave, hmm. You know, just leave emojis that represent the colors of eyeshadows that you wear the absolute most. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I am Baddie Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting every single day in December. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.